and yeah. I'll leave a little bit of white there because that's going to be a little bit, um, a little circly bit that shows that the nose is round. And then I get a darker tone, mm -hmm. and then again from the bottom. Okay. Um, just just staying at the bottom, and then you start to see oh, no, the nose. Yeah, Can you yeah, see yeah. the nose starting to? And yeah. then with a little circular motion there so that you've got this bit still a bit of white then you start to see this little circle start to appear oh wow and it starts um yeah it starts to look a bit more like a nose and then i go darker again and then keep it further down and there so yeah okay. it's starting to build it up and then i also do a little line coming down here uh -huh. and that shows the okay. we're gonna build that up at the moment it just looks like she's got a runny nose but it will uh, build up <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i'm using my skin tone now just yeah. to take it round the bottom of the lip and i actually go into the lip with the skin oh, tone okay. as well now i had a question I'm, I'm gonna be posing this to barbara you won't be able to answer this do you i'll okay. tell you why who is the question from sue uh, Sue was asking, will any of your design work be also used with the Groovy system? Dee can't answer that, okay. but we can maybe something to think about for the future there, Barbara. That's good. Imagine yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Barbara, That's can I say, cool. Barbara's eyes lit up. You can see that she's like, ooh, okay. So we can't answer that right now, Sue, but you never know. Watch this space. So when, when I'm coming down from the cheek, I leave a little bit of white between where the stamped ink is mm -hmm. and and the face and then that just gives you later on as the face comes together it makes it look a bit <coughs> a bit more round and then with the cheek I take the colour down onto the neck and then a bit under the lip and then I get a, I start to get a bit darker again so under the lip it starts to get a little bit darker and again here on the chin Okay. And then, and what colour of lips? Will we give a red or a pink? Oh, or? Should, we, should we go for red? <laughs> red? Let's go for red. Okay, let me get a red. She's, it's, it's Friday night. So she's going she's out going on the out. town. She's going out on the town. <laughs> she's feeling very hopeful. I will start though with, with okay. a, I will start with the paler, with the pink first. Okay. So with the lips, yeah. um, I do just a little bit. First yeah. of all, I started off with a pale skin tone and then I go for a little bit darker, leaving little spaces for the, the white to show through. And then with, with the red, I should actually have sharpened yeah. this a bit better, but okay. um, I do little lines. So uh, this okay. is like the natural yeah. lip lines that you get and right. do them from the inside here. And then again, yeah. Little. No, we're going to blend this in. At the moment, it looks like yeah. she needs some chapstick or yeah. other, other product. I do it curly from the top down yeah. like that, and then uh, it, it's like the natural sort of yeah. flow of the lips. Uh huh. Yeah, and then I start to very yeah. faintly just go over so that it's this not all choppy. <laughs> well, this is a great example when you talk to us, Dee, about the quality of these uh, pencils. You can see how you're able to blend. You can define lines if you, you want. Can, yeah, they are so good. They really are a good quality pencil. Nice. It's an absolute joy seeing you work there, Dean. Is it? Yeah, no, I wasn't sure in case I'd be a bit boring. <laughs> not boring, not at all. But th look, this is the thing. You want to build up the detail. And, and then uh, I'm as crafter, you don't want to rush things. No, it's, it's a more about the process for me. I go into a little mm -hmm. zone when I'm, yeah. when I'm drawing. She's and already starting to come she's to She's starting life. to look, look all right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll just take the pink again and um, try to fill it in so the the depth starts to build up the more that you put on the layers Nice. and leave little white bits to show little right. sparkles I'm going to put the inside of her mouth um, a dark shade okay do you tend to in your mind give the girls that their own characters their sort of personalities yeah I do without realizing it and then they just seem to come to life yeah. How do you imagine? What kind of person would Hope be? Um, well, she's actually secretly unsure of herself, but she's decided that to listen to her, to her own sort of calling, so to speak, and she's having the courage to break free from what other people think she should be. I love that. <laughs> I love that. So, I can yeah. imagine Hope. She's sitting in a coffee shop, 
Yeah. And she's working on something creative. She's just had a realisation that mm -hmm. she does more to her than meets the eye and she's going to go for it. <laughs> I love that. So, yeah, and so as, as I'm building up the face, I'll just right. start to then go back up into the cheeks and yeah. I'll start to realise what bits need a bit more and nice. I end up just playing for a while. Oh. And then with the stamps, uh -huh. so some of the little heart, yeah. um, she's got this here. So I sometimes stamp the heart onto the face, the Let me cheek. Show you that. If I get, I didn't, I didn't stamp it. I didn't bring it out, but yeah. Okay. So yeah, sometimes I put the hearts on yeah. their faces. And can you just show us, like, just going back to your finished example, just so this people can compare yeah. where we're going to. But you yeah. can see then. As Dee's building up the layers, and we do appreciate, obviously, on the show, you spend a bit more time at home. Yes. But, wow. And this actually is a perfect example, is if you do want to embellish, you can. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Oh, there's a little stuff. Um, and this one here just shows you the A4 size wow. as well. So this okay. is the A3 yeah. and the so A4. So it could be mother so and daughter. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, that's brilliant. It could. Or it could be a larger affirmation card, yeah. or, or it could be on your journal. Yeah. So, yeah, I get my um some pink mm -hmm. stressed oxide and i'll give her a little love heart yeah. on her cheek shall i so i use i use the hearts to it's it's a bit like i'm giving her some love or i'm giving her the love that she feels that she didn't have or oh, that's so really nice. yeah D, <laughs> it's, these are, these are, <laughs> these are really heart tugging they are heart tugging little elements you're putting but in i use tonight. i use the colors as well so sometimes i'll like in this one here i've mm -hmm. surrounded her with pink and yeah. that's surrounding her with warmth and love oh. she's <laughs> so, she looks like the kind of person you'd want to be friends with yeah Very kind person. she is a kind yeah. person yeah oh, tell me what's what's it been like working with clarity Oh uh, yeah, well Is I've it? I've yeah I've known Barbara yeah. for ten I think it's ten years, wow. and she's just been amazing to her. She's so encouraging. She and really is. That's yeah, a great description. Yeah, of and she's saying. had a lot of faith in me, which has been really nice. Well, I think it's been well placed. So I'm just with the the ivory going mm -hmm. to start going over the white bits, and then it starts to feel a bit more like it's um, connected. Yeah. And again, I'm going to go under her hairline now and start to put in a mm -hmm. shadow. Because oh, I think cool. tomorrow morning I shall be doing her hair. Oh, okay. So tune in. Remember, so you're going to have the one-day special live at nine, one, yeah. and five tomorrow. I don't think I'll have time to do it because it's such a time-consuming. Okay. Yeah. Well, the beauty is with the stamps, you can take as little or as much time as you like. So if you want to use your alcohol markers, uh, or if you just want to create a background and have that line art, you can do that. We had that example actually. Earlier. So that gives the illusion of a shadow under her hair, so it'll look a bit more... Uh, once her hair is there, you'll start to see what I mean, and then I'll go over in here with black as well, right. and that starts to build up more depth. So can you see that when I'm putting in the darker shade, that it looks a bit uh, more, yeah. Lovely. Uh, yeah, Dee, so, we're hmm? going to uh, just let, pause yeah. there, give you yeah. a break. You're doing yeah. very well. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this yeah. hour. Do you know what you can do if you want to send any messages, if you just want to say hello to Barbara and Dee, we'd love to hear from you, or any questions, get them coming in studio at hochanda.com. Let's jump onto the website. There's lots to discover. I haven't treated director Molly and producer Emily for a while, so I tell you what, on me, what are you going to be putting into your baskets? Okay, so Molly's gone straight for the one day special. Oh, was that Emily? I'm sorry. Molly wants the A4 of Faith. Okay, there we go. That's the team's choice. Chloe, come on, you, I've got to give you. You want the pencil, pencils? <laughs> Chloe, for crying out loud. All right, well, it's a good investment. I just didn't realize I'd be the one investing. I don't even get to keep them. Uh, so, okay, that's our team's choice. So, one day special time. What are you getting? Something that really is special the story behind this now this has been in the making for a while but I have to say Dee has spent her life and you can see how much of herself she's poured into these designs and there's a really really nice story behind each one of these so you're getting a collection of friends 49 stamps in total you're not just getting the stamps actually when Barbara was breaking it down what you're getting let me just show you here because it is a great I think Hayley described it as a kit, and that is the perfect description. So, first and foremost, you are getting a full representation. Uh, that's kind of a guide to using the stamp set. It's just one way, but it's nice to have that, because then you kind of gives it perspective. And I'll tell you why, because when you see the stamps, 
here. And that's why it's nice having that representation because you've got uh, a load of stamps and I've got to, just bear with me, I want to show you something. Look at the thickness of these stamps and that is why clarity is really held in such high regard amongst all stampers is because you are getting such fantastic quality stamps but we're not just stopping there because you're also getting the words as well both in white and black so chop into these but they have words that have some significance they're sentiments that have some significance today and really bring the images to life you're also getting the masks in there as well and any line art I mean Barbara said it beautifully you need the masks in the mix too so you're getting all of that and that's just one of the sets. So uh, that's our joy. We've got faith, we've got brave, and we've got hope. Uh, really nice. Now I have to say, hope has gone limited. Uh, no, sorry, individually it's gone. It's gone, not limited. We told you to start the show. I'm going to show some more examples. This is clever. Who did this one? Jane. Jane, because you can put the gang together. It, that is like the team right here. So we've got that. That would be Emily there. Uh, then we've got Chloe, uh, and then we've got Molly. There we go. Well, what else have we got in here? I'm going to try and show some different ones. So that was Jane. But even if you wanted to take some elements through, look, this is just taking some of the smaller elements from the sets and coming up with your own designs. That's very nice from Dee Palmer. Or what about? Oh, is it? It's Dee Paramore. Sorry, Dee Paramore. Uh, another one from Dee. Look at that, changing the hair colours. So that's one of the designs. Or if you want to go through, and it was, oh, this is nice. That's very clever. And it just goes show all the designs are so different uh, that you're seeing here. So that's Sheila, uh, great design. Now I'm going to take one of each because I know we've got to uh, move on. Let me just pop that down for a second. And they all look so good. How about that? But you see how you can change the skin tones as well. Uh, you can correct it. That's one by. I seem to be picking up D uh, all the time. There's another one by D. And then, oh, yes. Oh, I'm going to say, look at that. Is that you, Barbara? It is. Oh, I love. I was. You read my mind. Honestly, when I saw these, I was thinking, with the designer parchment papers. So think about Indian Summer, Shenandoah, uh, Shenandoah there, uh, or your Northern Lights. Phenomenal, and don't forget the Rainbow River. Uh, okay, so oh, I've got to show one more. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but look at this. Look at that. Uh, this is from Carol. Give it a little bit of a shake. So use your imagination. Have some fun with these. We have to move on, but what you're getting is something that is extremely special here. 70% uh, of the stock's gone, and it deserves to be busy because you're getting something that uh, you can see. Dee has poured so much of herself in this. You're going to love working with them. And reflect your own uh, interpretation. One two zero three two five. Your item number. Don't forget the flexi payments. Moving on to the pencils. Faber Castell. Now Faber Castell, as a company, has been around. Uh, I think they're established in the eighteen something. Uh, what you are getting is. I'm sorry. I know that I'm trying to dredge my memory here, but you are getting a fantastic collection of pencils. Now, it's the quality, and when you're going to invest in anything, artistic medium, you want to invest... Oh, is it 1761? Thank you, Barbara. I was off. I was way off. You're only off by about 100, only 100 years. years. There we go. You sound like my maths teacher. <laughs> uh, so, having a look here, all the colours. You're getting your brights, your bolds, your naturals, your skin tones, your landscapes, seascapes. Oh, we've, uh, by the way, we've had, this is nice, we've had all of these family getting in touch. Ash, going to give a shout out to you. Lola, hello to you, Lola. Uh, Oreo and, uh, Bre and Brexy? We've got that right, Brexy. Oh, the two. Oreo and Brexy. Yeah. Okay, I didn't want to say anything. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, everyone's very, very proud of you. Oh, thank you. That oh, means a lot. Like Brexy. <laughs> Brexy. Oh, that's a yeah. good one. There you go. Uh, okay, very topical. Uh, now, so, <laughs> details on your screen there. Uh, I tell you what, over the Brexy, is the Brexy going to go in or out? Uh, so, $129.98 your price, but you can split up into three <laughs> flexi <laughs> payments. Uh, 24, uh, 245-231, your item number. I've got a really bad habit of laughing at my own jokes because I'm the only one that does laugh. Yeah. Uh, okay, I thought it was good for me. That was very good. Like popping in or out. That would have been that would have been great advertising for it. There we go. Uh, all right, now here we go. So this is your A4. So I've got to stress with the A4, you're getting the same design work that you're getting in the One Day Special, just on an A4 scale. You're still getting the masks. You're still getting the words. Twenty six ninety nine. Your price. You're saving three pounds. But my goodness, this is special. 
So just a, as a stamp set alone, look at the size of this. Now, how much have you paid in the past for an A4 stamp set? I mean, of this quality, clarity stamps, you've got all the elements to play around with, scrapbooking, journaling, artwork for the home, card making, having a look here, you're still getting the masks, you're still getting, I know it's hard to see there, uh, you're still getting the words, and of course you're getting the uh, stamps there. Uh, oh, you're getting the A5 words there, I've got to stress, not the uh, A4. Uh, 26, uh, sorry, 26 99 your price there, saving three pounds, seven one three six seven six. your item number. Moving on to Faith. I love all of these because Dee's done such a good job of giving them their individual personalities. Twenty-six, all the prices the same. Twenty-six ninety-nine, saving three pounds. Six six four three eight seven. Your item number. Then we've got our Joy, and she is an absolute joy to work with. So with Joy, another slant. Really, I, I love the fact on each one you can you kind of got different angles, but it's the eyes. They they are. Very poetic, haunting. Twenty six ninety nine your price there, seven three pounds, three four six nine eight one your item number there. And finally we've got Brave. So this is the boy in the mix. I love the fact he's got his friend, his own little wolf in the background, but then look at the peacock feather in there as a flower, the moon. Very, very nice. Twenty six ninety nine the price. Is he a lone wolf? Who knows? Well, we can actually ask D. Uh, 340-716, your item number. Well, we have a very special day coming up. It's a Clarity Open Day. If you want to hear a little bit more, take it. Hi, I'm Barbara from Clarity Stamp, and I'd like to tell you about one of the absolute highlights of our Clarity calendar, our annual Open Days. Twice a year, both up north and down south, hundreds of us get together to celebrate art, craft and all things clarity. Whether you're an inky stamper, a painty mixed media artist or a groovy Pergamano parcher, this event will be perfect for you. So many talented and well-known crafters will be there to teach and share. There'll be free make and takes, loads of cool demos, hourly raffles with super prizes and a very, very popular tombola too. When is it? Well. On the 14th and 15th of June, we will all be at the Ditton Community Centre near Maidstone, Kent. And we'll be up in Labour, North Yorkshire in September. More will be revealed. So, if you like clarity, you'll love our open days. Get your tickets today for another fantastic clarity get-together. If you're a Clarity fan, or if you've just seen, maybe this is your first uh, opportunity to hang out with Barbara, D and Clarity, that open day, two days, well It's going to be it. so fun. Oh. Maybe we can talk well, D into coming well, down. D, you've got to come down. Barbara, word on the street, Paul was telling me that you do a, uh, is it like a, um, a raffle, like every hour on or something? On the hour, every hour, it's substantial. Yeah. I run round and I grab a load of stuff that I know people will love, yeah. and then I stand on a chair, yeah. and as you walk through the door, everybody gets a ticket, yeah. and you have to just hang on to your ticket. ticket. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, just don't throw it away. No. And then every hour on the hour, we have a bit of fun, and I somebody walks away with a gift every hour on the like hour that's 50 to 100 pounds. It sounds like such fun. Yeah. You are the crafting version of Willy Wonka. Oh, it's, it's really fun. Yeah, it's I love fun. It. Oh, and no, it's I actually our had a better opportunity. one. Opportunity. You're the crafting version of Oprah. Or you, <laughs> need to, you need to stick the products under the chairs. There we go. Tell everyone you're going to get it. Do you know, the thing about the open days is it's like a yeah. big celebration. Yeah. And it's our opportunity to, to kind of. Um, Spoil or, mm. or in you know like indulge a little yeah. bit and and well, reach out giving and have a little fun. bit back. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it exactly is a great day if you can it's make great. it. I promise you, you're going to have the best day. Uh, okay, so we're going to have a little play, and I know Barbara, you just want to show a different angle to using the stamps. Yeah, I mean, Dee's Dee's colouring. She is the colourist extraordinaire, yeah. and uh, and my job, what I'm here for, mm. is to introduce a few different backgrounds and uh, make a link. You know, okay. the bridge. Yeah, yeah. And so I thought we could have a look. Can we have a look at these? two for example mm. and I just wanted to uh, I want to show you the background mm. so I've used the same the same young girl mm -hmm. hope mm -hmm. and I wanted to show you how if you can see here is quite a nice background mm. and you can see that I've I've taken if we if we look over here this just a little bit different just using different elements of the stamps is quite interesting yeah. yeah so the words so you can see here I've taken the words 
Uh, Self-belief lives here. A little bird told me to listen to my own calling. Look, so a little bird told me to listen to my... So you just snip, snip, snip. Mm -hmm. The way I stuck it down, I'll start with this before I go to the mm. next thing. If you take the sheets, you can see here, I've got them in a bag, look. Mm -hmm. And so I took the double-sided sheet of adhesive, mm -hmm. A5, on its way, come into a clarity stamp. Yeah, near you. Yeah. Show near you. Okay. Right. And so what I do is, I just put it on the back, you see? And then I just take a big pair of scissors. I, I literally take the scissors and then I just cut through. So here, for example, these, these are good. And you just, two snips. Damn. And then it's a beautiful, top quality... Sentiment. Sentiment, yeah. yeah. And you can see here on this one, I've made it tone in tone with the background, which is a piece of cake. All you do is... You literally, I'm just going to show you this so that you can see how it works. Did or, you create this background? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Barbara, this is a really nice really background. It's really nice, isn't it? I actually thought that you were using papers on there. That's great. No, no. Yeah. So with this, for example, what you can do is uh -huh. you, just, you just ink up your brayer with an ink pad. I'm using rosy cheeks. Okay. And then if I want it to be pink like this, mm -hmm. then I just run across it. Look, Bob's your uncle. Perfect. And that's how you make your white mm -hmm. go in tone. So now if you look at it, it's exactly the same mm -hmm. as the as the as the work here. So, yes. and that's how you that's how you Perfect. stain your words. Speaking of the brayer, we've had a question mm. in from Steve. Oh, sorry, D, uh, who's D. also not R D, but another yes. D. Uh, just asking, what's the best way to clean your brayer? Oh, I'm so glad because as I was doing that, I was thinking. Now mm. I'm going into. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, D. As if I'm. Who's who's asked? D. D. Right, D. So take, this is the way I've done it. Can I put oh, that yeah, on there? Right, and then I take a spritzer, like mm -hmm. so. Right. Yeah, a spritz. Because what I found was, you can mm -hmm. use baby wipes, but over a period of time, mm -hmm. what will happen is, the baby, the baby wipes, they make this shine. It's like it loses its rubberiness. Yeah. So mm -hmm. spritz the paper towel like that, and then you just rub over like so. Mm. You watch. Look. Like oh, that. That's good. And that's how you don't get covered in ink. Look, there you go. That's very clever. And I can use it again and again. Perfect. So, so now it's clean. Now we can move mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but that's okay. the way to clean it. Okay. Good job. Right. So now we've worked out how to use the stamp, mm -hmm. uh, the the little paper, how to stain it. That's all cool. We've got that. We've got that. We've got that. We we'll put that back there. Right. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now let's have a look how to do the background. This is nice. Mm -hmm. This is easy. So we've got our stamp. Let's get our stamp. So I want to show you what the purpose is of the mask as well. Yeah. We get that out yeah. as well. So all this stuff is in the kit, as Haley so aptly called it. Yeah, it's, actually it's a good description because you're yeah. getting so much. I mean, when you break it down and consider what you're getting. So now I'll we'll just stamp that up, turn mm -hmm. that round, and we'll pop this. I'm just going to pop it on here now, just so that we can use the mask. I'm not going to do the colouring in. Mm. If we look at this, uh, you can see I've coloured her in. Right. There's a real warmth to all the characters. And do you know what I love as well? That you can personalise them. So hair yeah. colours, or if you want to oh, make so. hair shorter, longer. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we've coloured her in. Now I'll take my mask. Oh, right. I'll take my mask. Mm -hmm. We've got two. Brilliant. Which is great if you want to do a bunch of friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Uh -huh. Also, I'll tell you another reason for having two is if you use one with paint and one with ink, it's a good idea to keep... One for paint and one for ink. Right, so now we've covered her over. She's going to be what I, t I pull my print on. So enter the gel press. So we'll take a piece of copy paper and I'll show you how to mm -hmm. get this background. Nice. So we've got her in place because she's yeah. actually not stuck on top. She's, uh, she's part of, isn't she? Wow. Okay. See, that is using the mask and that is a very powerful illustration of how effective that can be. Oh, yeah, that is really good. I love the fact even the dress, personalising that dress. I coloured her in with polychromos is because right? Dee is Scottish. Yeah. In case you hadn't noticed, yeah. I I thought I'd make her dress tartan. Uh. You see, so I've made her little outfit a little bit tartan, and Excellent. it's easy. It's just flick, 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 flick. Just take, pick your oh, colours. Brilliant. Pick your tartan. Pick your tartan. Right, old parchment. These are great. So what I'm going to use the background is actually made. This yeah. background Sorry. is made with ink. Okay. Right. So I'm going to use uh, the background. First, we'll use the old parchment. These are great. Mm. These intro. Yeah? yeah. Oh, we're going to bring you details of these. These are dye based inks. Yeah. We so bring them in from India, right? Okay. You're getting storage, uh, spot and sponges, 25 99 That's yeah. very good. You get 12 colours. 
So I'm going to use the old parchment first. Okay. Now, where's my brayer? My clean brayer. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm just going to just spread the ink out. So I just dubbed it on mm -hmm. there. You can hardly okay. see it, okay. but that's okay. You can always add more. But you can't take it away. There you go. So we'll take this. So we've got a frame of reference. We'll put it on the black. Mm -hmm. Turn this over. I can see exactly. So I'm lining up the okay. the outside seven by seven yeah. with the mega mount seven by seven, which comes with a gel press six by six. Right. So I'm just doing this, and this is caught. This is what's going to give us the base colour, which is that beige yeah. old parchment. Okay. If it's a little bit light, let's have a look. Right. You. I don't know I if the telly will pick will this up. It contrast once you lay the pink. Exactly. Yeah. If you want to add a bit more, mm. look. Or say I want to do a bit more depth down the bottom. Yeah. I'd, I could take a teal now. I could take another colour, mm. if you see what I mean. I could take a completely different colour, and I just want to spread this over here. So you're going to get almost like an ombre. Mm. And I'm not talking about a Spaniard. <laughs> okay. Right. So you get a blend from one colour to the other now by doing this. And then I'll line it up again, okay? Press it down yeah. again, and that will make it darker down the bottom. Nice. So that's just a way if you wanted to do it on one layer. Yeah. Okay? The Caught team, you laughing team, at me, the team, the team appreciated the joke. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we do that. Uh -huh. Now oh, okay. you can now see it. Go. Okay, there so now go. you can see can it's darker know, at the bottom. So actually, if we yeah. show it here, you'll be able to, to see just the contrast. There we go. Okay, great. Yeah? yeah, cool. So this is really easy. So now there's another one, and I, I apologize for grabbing one color from another, but I wanted this pink, rosy cheeks. Okay. So you've got it in the large one, yep. but you've also got it in the small one, see? Okay. So we'll take this one, and this is where we're going to change the contrast. Let me put a bit of copy paper underneath. See, I'm in charge of the backgrounds, because when you spend hours doing this beautiful face, yeah. then you want to make sure that you, you get a kind of a tone-in-tone -tone background, don't yeah, you? Yeah, compliment, yeah. Right, so we'll get rid of the brownie colour. Right, now we'll spread this out, the pink. Mm -hmm. So you can see it a little bit, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Right, so we've got the colour like that. Uh -huh. See, because we're working with real pastels... Right, now I'm going to take a bit of screwed-up paper, uh, right? Yeah. And you can't really see much, but you will in a minute, I hope. Yeah, yeah. Right, so you go like that, and then... We'll go back again to our work. If it's a bit faded, uh -huh. then you know next time to use more ink, don't you? And then you line up again, so that's why you're always going to get the print. When, mm -hmm. you see, the thing about the gel presses, it's like mono, it's like mono printing, but without the press, isn't it? Mm. And you'll see that you've got that lovely beige in the background. Right, here we go again. I mean, Leone watches me, and she says, cool, even your mixed media is neat. And I <laughs> say, well, I can't... You want to see? You want to see me, me? Just look at someone's cutlery drawer, and you'll know what their artwork's going to be like. I've got the. Look, you see? Oh, there you go. Wow. That worked nicely. Can I, do you mind if I show everyone? Yeah, go. That is stunning. So that As works, doesn't it? Come on, <sighs> you're going to give this a go. Look at that. So all that beautiful work. Say that Dee's doing now. Yeah. Let's just convert what I'm okay. doing to what Dee's doing. Yeah. She's done all that beautiful work. Mm. Personally, I would probably do this before I spend hours on the picture. Mm. I'd make sure the background's right mm. before I do... Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But the point is that then you apply all the work that Dee's doing underneath here. Do you see? Because that is completely white. Stunning. It's, it's removed, hasn't it? Yeah. While that's in place, you see, if you wanted to add a bit of a drop yeah. shadow... These brushes are really good, by the way. I'm not even... I'm not even inking them up if you know what i mean i'm mm. using a dry brush yeah, yeah. because i want to see if you can always you see how it's just changing the color a little bit on that side you don't want it to be too dark otherwise it looks like a black halo which mm. looks a bit spooky right so this just it just adds a little bit of depth around the outside like that these brushes are brilliant they are fantastic right? and then when you take that away yeah. there we are you see yeah. now how how that works Fantastic. So, you, it really does work, and um, and then you replace mm. that on there because you can use them again and again. Mm. Got less than right? nine minutes. I know you have, mm. and we less have. We've only got less than nine, nine minutes. minutes. And uh, and to be honest, yeah. the only thing I want to show you, if you if you take this one, 
Like you can see, I don't need to finish this mm. because you understand this is straightforward. It's literally mm -hmm. straightforward stamping. You know how to cut them up. We did that earlier. Mm -hmm. Little bird on the top, little yeah. bird on her shoulder, bit of colouring in. Lovely. You can put another word there. I think this is really neat. You yeah. see how that works. Yeah. And then this one here, mm -hmm. the way to do that is all, all you need here. Let me show you this. This is quite a good, good trick. Right, if we, like, I know I'm killing this now, but you, you see what I need, I need the, uh, she's for another job. Let's say I've got the, the edge. Say I didn't get the edge right, not yeah. perfect. And I just want this. Let me show you how you can get that lovely, see that lovely edge? Yeah, yeah. Right, I think that's worth knowing. Yeah, okay. And then I'm done. All right. So if I take this, for example, blending mm -hmm. tool, oh, yeah. right, and this, and let me take the big one because it's faster. Mm -hmm. Now go a bit of ink in there, quite a bit of an overkill. Right, okay, so we get the colour in there. Don't want to overcook it because you can always add it, but you can't oh, take it away. It away. Yeah. Right, so we'll just get rid of the excess. And then what you're going to do is you get up on your haunches almost and then you start and as you go round... Just feathering it. Yeah, you just come in, and I'm, but I'm up on an angle. Oh, I'm coming in okay. really, really... See? Nice. And as you go round, yeah. you can see how you get that lovely blended effect. Mm. And it's exactly what Dee's doing with the pencils. It's round and round. You want it darker at the bottom. When it starts to get a bit more faded, all you do is turn this around a little bit and you'll find you get like a second wind. Mm -hmm. But what you, the key is to use the mat underneath. If you're trying to do it on this, it really isn't so easy. Yeah, okay, okay. You get, so that's the way to do that. Brilliant. And that's how you get that. Fantastic. Boom. Thank you, Barbara. You're welcome. Uh, all right, I want to show you some finished examples because I have to say the possibilities of the one day special are endless. Just take a look at this. Beautiful inspirations. I have to say, we need to show something because Dee, while we were looking at those uh, that video, you showed me something. Now tell me, a very special person hmm? did this. Who did this? My daughter Lola, who's eleven. Lola, <laughs> and I know you're watching. You are very talented. I tell you, it won't be long before you're on her channel. Isn't that lovely? And this oh, is yeah. Lola, who's eleven. I like how she gave her green hair. Yeah, something different. Yeah. But that's the whole point. Yeah. With the characters, you get to decide their personality. Yeah. Lola's she done loved working such with them. A good job here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. Great job there, Lola. Okay, so we we will continue tomorrow morning with uh, the. This is Hope that we're working on. Yes, saying, Hope? I'm going to do our hair yeah. tomorrow. Okay, so now I know you just wanted to show everyone shading of the yeah. neck uh, yeah. and just finish and off I the nose. And I wanted to finish off the nose. Okay. So I'm just going to go back over again, just make this a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. So, when building up the face, what are you thinking about, Dee? I don't know, really. I go into a zone of my own. Okay. <laughs> I get very quiet. Yeah. I mean, with regard to <laughs> laying down shadow, contouring the face, if people are feeling a little bit daunted, obviously, you've got All the right, reference yeah. on the actual uh, packaging, so yeah. I like the fact you've got that completed image. Um, and then I'll put a little line here, just slowly build it up, and that, okay. that's almost the bridge of her nose, and give her... Right. Yeah. The, those small little touches really do make a big, it's a profound difference. And then I continue down onto the neck and I leave a little bit at the side that's a bit, a bit lighter. Mm -hmm. And then, where's my dark colour? And then under the chin, so just with my hair. Now, speaking and of hair, is hair important to you when you're, you're designing the ca characters? What, what do you start from? What really sets off a character for you? The eyes. It's the eyes. It's the eyes, and then I'll decide later on what yeah. kind of hair she's going to mm -hmm. have. But, yeah. So that's giving you the, the shadow now under her chin. Nice. 
And a little bit darker now. Coming down the neck. Mm -hmm. um, I know I go quiet, don't I? Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to remember to keep talking. Oh, don't worry, Jane. You just enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, I do uh, get really quiet it's when okay. I'm doing it. Where do you tend to do your crafting? I do, I do it at home. I sit in our conservatory. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, although it's been like too, spot. it was too hot this week, so mm. I had to go into the kitchen. But okay. <laughs> you retreated. I retreated into the kitchen. Yeah, so I leave a little bit of white in the middle. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can bring in your yellows and your golds as mm. well, and then that starts to brighten it up a little bit. Nice. And yeah, again, you wouldn't ordinarily think to use yellow, but just a little bit. A little bit of yellow just adds gives a little, some warmth. Yeah, and again, I'll start to put a little bit darker around here to show the shadow. Uh, that okay. when I was when I do her dress, then that would. Yeah. Also, with these stamps, you can stamp it, and if you want to be brave enough or you want to practice drawing, you can draw on the dress and give her mm -hmm. legs. You could even give um, Hope the tail from Faith oh. if you wanted to make her a long mermaid and have yeah. the tail kicking out. Nice. Yeah, you can take away the bird as well if you mask it. Yeah. Well, so. that's an interesting point because if you don't put all the detail into the bird, mm. you can maybe continue that line and then that would just be the design of the dress. Well, can I show you on this um, this tag here? Yeah. I took away the bird mm. and just gave the word hope. So that just shows like a different way of using it. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, and the hair, you've extended the hair. I, get, I extended the hair. Yeah. Oh, actually, did you extend the hair? Because I've just noticed it comes quite low. Yeah, no, I took it all the way down okay. to the bottom, so I did extend oh, yeah. it down so you couldn't see the feathered oh, edges. Oh, you can see the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm not sure how much longer I've got to... Nice. So, yeah. Okay. I think that's we about will, all I can do we're for continue now. This, and, yeah. and it's nice because you're seeing the progression uh, yeah. of where you're going to go. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So tomorrow, 9, 1 and 5, if you are free, please tune in. Uh, Barbara, are you going to be with us tomorrow? I certainly yeah. am. Brilliant. And do you know what I think as well? Mm. When we look at what Dee's done here, the A4, yeah. they're five pounds more than the aren't they? Yes. The, because they're on a special offer, on yes. an introductory price. But they're actually not twice the size you know they're just they're mm. actually quite a handleable size if you're doing yeah. mixed media aren't mm. they they're not frighteningly big. they're not scary big no, no, no. They, they wouldn't fill a whole a, even Great though they're a4 though. they're not actually a4 that's right yeah. but yeah. if you're doing canvases or mm. wall art then the a4 is yeah. more your speed isn't it yeah definitely d first <laughs> live hour on tv how do you find it yeah um, i feel a bit better now i don't Good. feel just as nervous as i was You've at the beginning oh, thank Barbara, you well done you as always oh, um, yes. i've had such a good hour i've really enjoyed it i really hope you've enjoyed it as well please if you are around tomorrow tune in nine, nine, five, uh, <laughs> nine one and five and i know we're going to be continuing demonstrations to show you so much more or you catch out on repeat but team great job thank love you it. Thank absolutely you. love bye. it bye bye, bye. So, coming up next, we have got Get Groovy 